Hey guys, Shadowlands back with another review. Today I'm reviewing the DSR-1, the GP variant of the DSR series, of the DSR Subsonic and Tactical are the other two in the series. And if you consider the Wall 2000 cousins of this gun, then I guess you could say it's in the family, but that's a further stretch. Anyway, today we're talking about the regular DSR-1, the GP variant, which can be bought for 7 days for 7,840 GP. Uh, I do believe that's the lowest time you can buy it for at this point in time since they uh, removed all the one day variants of it. Uh, you unlock this weapon at first lieutenant one, so it's a relatively high rank gun, and actually I appreciate Nexon for doing that because this is a very, in my opinion, OP gun. <laughs> it's very, very powerful. Um, now I don't exactly do as well with it as I would like to because I was kind of rushed for getting gameplay, which is also why this review is a bit shorter than others, but it's not that bad and I can get the review done, so I'm not worried about it. Um, so anyway, this gun is bolt action, unlike the Wall 2000 series, which is semi. Um, the auto, uh, the ammo, capa auto capacity, the ammo capacity of this is 5 of 20, so it's a typical standard, uh, uh, sniper rifle. Uh, anyway, the statistics, the damage is actually 99, despite the fact that this is 99% of the time a one-shot kill. The portability is 45, so it seems to be a little bit lighter than most snipers, despite the size. It looks, it, physically, it looks bigger than the M107 there at 50 cal, but it does the weight does not feel like it. It's not the most portable sniper in the world, and the draw speed isn't the fastest, but it's not terrible. Um, the rate of fire, however, is 11. So the rate of fire is lower than most bolt-action snipers like the TPG-1 and the TRG series, which have a 16. So the rate of fire is a bit low. The accuracy, however, is 97, which is very high. Uh, high enough that you could definitely uh, hit the mark where you want it to be, so you need to be very careful when using this gun. One thing that's very nice about this gun is that the uh, spread recovery is lightning fast. Like, I am seriously impressed at how fast the spread recovery is in this gun, and that's why it has become one of my favorite weapons. The recoil doesn't matter, but statistically it's 63. And, I mean, I guess it looks like 63. I don't know how to guess that, really, because I don't really think it matters on bolt-action snipers. But anyway, uh, so the only customization you can put on this gun is a magazine. Uh, so you cannot put a silencer on this gun. Uh, however, the uh, basic NX1, the NX standard, the DSR-1 subsonic, does have a built-in silencer. However, it also has 100 damage, and actually I'd say it's probably closer to like 100 and... I'd say, I'd say it's closer to like 104 or 5. It's, it, it, it's hard to tank, even long range. Um, all variants of this gun are great for quick scoping. The only problem is the rate of fire is a bit low, so you need to be careful and make sure your shot hits. Um, although, I, this is one of the few guns that I would have actually appreciated a higher magnification scope on, although obviously the three times scope is good for quick scoping. So if you're a quick scoper, this gun's pretty good. But if you prefer to use this gun for long range, which is what I usually use it for... Excuse me. <laughs> just had some tacos earlier. Um, <laughs> that's starting to feel them. But anyway, um, yeah, so you got to be really careful about using this gun. It's just kind of difficult to use sometimes. I just swap over to Cold Seed here. And I have to apologize for the gameplay on this one because it started off being a more fair game and then it just went to base rate pretty much immediately. So, uh, yeah, I try not to play the, too long in this game, although it does take up half the review. It's kind of a base rape session and I have to apologize for that because that's not exactly what I intended it to be, but that's what it became. So, sorry. <laughs> but it, it shows you good footage of the gun at closer ranges, which I suppose is good. Back to what I was actually saying about the gun, I prefer to use this gun longer range due to the low tank ability and the super, super accurate shots and the fast spread recovery, which is just an extra bonus. So, although this is a great long range gun, the only thing I would actually suggest is that I wish Nexon would have put a uh, four times magnification scope on this just so I could have uh, used it a little bit easier long range. But by no means does that diminish the gun's like actual statistics and usage in any way. Um, I just wish they'd put on a four times magnification scope like the TPG or the M1 is actually I kind of like a TPG scope on this I don't want to uh, the TPG 1 Pro anyway um, I don't think I would actually care to have the M200 scope on this but that's my preference anyway I don't have a whole lot more to say about the gun uh, I am not putting music in this review though um, I actually suggest you guys go watch my DSR and subsonic review it's one of my oldest reviews so you're gonna have to go back quite a ways to see it um, it's back when I did my reviews for like 20 or 30 minutes a piece, and I didn't really do a lot of editing on the videos, so overall it's a very long review, but I have a lot to say about the gun because it's one of my favorites, and I do think I put in music in the end of it, but I'm not 100% sure about that, so do not quote me. 
What I would like to say is that I have successfully gotten done quite a few reviews uh, today, the day that I'm actually recording this. Um, I've done the DSR-1, the K7, the Chris, the regular one. These are all... Except I did one NX weapon. I did the L-115A3. Uh, and then I also did the MAC-10, the UMP, the GP variant, and the, U and the UZ, UZ. I prefer to say UZ. I don't know why I said uh, UZ. But anyway, uh, I got all those done today. So all those will be coming out sometime probably after this review. I'm not sure what I'm, what I'm planning to do for my upload... Uh, uh, order for this. I haven't structured it like I've done the rest of them, so I'm not sure what's going to come out and when. So, there's one thing that you guys should know about the NX Rare variant, the DSR-1 Tactical. In reality, it has uh, 100 statistic uh, for damage, but in all seriousness, I'm pretty sure that the accuracy is something more along the uh, sorry, the damage is something more along the lines of 110. I don't think I've... I, it's the only gun that has damage on par with the TPG-1 Master, in my opinion. And the damage drop-off on every one of these variants is practically none. So no matter how far away you are, it should be a one-shot one kill. Um, at least most of the time. A heavy vester might tank it, but even most medium vesters won't tank this weapon. Uh, now, the nice thing about the tactical, although it does not have the silencer anymore, the subsonic is the only variant to hold a silencer. Um, the one thing that I like about the gun is that, well, it has 100 accuracy, which means it's perfectly accurate. It retains the same spread recovery. The overall spread is not is actually lower than the subsonic or the regular DSR-1. The subsonic and the DSR-1 have the same spread overall once they get to full spread. They both have 97 accuracy, and uh, the tactical has 100, so it's a extremely powerful gun. Uh, a lot of people, though, despite the fact that the tactical has 100 accuracy, a lot of people say it doesn't have it. That's, in my opinion, I think that's kind of a lie. I kind of think this does have a uh, full, you know, accuracy. It, it feels like it. But anyway, I'm kind of running out of time here, so I'm sorry for the short review here, but it's all I really had time for when I was recording this. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I appreciate all the subscribers and stuff you guys have gotten me. A lot of you took on that challenge and got me a couple of subscribers, so I really appreciate all the... Uh, work you guys did to support me. It definitely makes a difference. Um, in my in one of my reviews, I think it is my Mac 10 review, uh, which will be coming out, I give a short shout out to one of the guys who gave me an FS2000, another review that I will be making soon, but I have not made yet as of the time I'm recording this. So anyway, thank you guys. Watch more, rate, comment, subscribe, and Shadowlands out. Holy shit! One minute, wait! What? Who are you calling? Oh no, she didn't just hang up on me!